On 4th August, police were deployed to the mines of Lugonwe and Lujinji situated in Chitumbi and Bukuya sub-counties in Mubende district to forcefully evict miners who had pitched camp there. It is estimated that about 60,000 people had taken over the mining area without licenses to carry out such activities. The first thing we had was chaos. And we must understand that there was chaos. 60,000 people causing we, we even had an issue of insecurity in the area. If that was the intention to take away people who are not Ugandans, it was also possible by asking people, where are your identifications? One of the area MPs, Patrick Nsamba, inquired why security forces used excessive force on civilians. Nsamba, a member of Parliament's Natural Resources Committee, argues that government should have guided them on what to do. The UPDF started selling, people, giving people what pay we'll money we'll discuss to UPDF the we'll discuss so that they can pick their property. Please. And the PS is here, is in order. It was very smooth. And if people moved out, they moved out. Anyway, if it was not... The irate legislator told the committee that the government's actions will affect the community as many youths were left unemployed. <laughs> give, me, give me a bottle of water. <laughs> Very cold water. And so I'm just finding money. this. People are making this a funny thing. No, no, no. no. But the people of Mwende are not happy with it. And don't happy at all. The ministry defended its actions, saying the operation was conducted peacefully, but Nsamba was not done. Organize them, know who is doing what, know who is in mining, know who is in business, how can you support them? If there is a bad technology they are using, honorable chair, in the mine, it is the responsibility of government to educate them. Because we couldn't know. And as the honorable chairperson has said, people have IDs. As you also know, others don't have IDs. Now the committee has decided to visit the contested area to hear from those affected by the eviction.